dietary fiber so what will you learn from this topic introduction to dietary fiber types of dietary fibers source of dietary fiber recommended doses fiber as supplements and importance of dietary fiber dietary fibers are an important part of the balanced diet they are complex carbohydrates obtained from parts of plant cell like the bran portion of grain which is an outer layer of a grain they are resistant to digestion and absorption in the human small intestine and undergo bacterial fermentation in the large intestine some fibers like pectins and gums are digestible by the intestinal bacteria dietary fibers are carbohydrates and are readily available in fruits vegetables legumes and whole grains dietary fibers plays an important role in reducing the risk and lowering the incidence of numerous diseases like diabetes heart disease food allergies and even cancer dietary fibers can be divided into two categories insoluble and soluble the insoluble fibers are found in plant cell wall while the soluble fibers are found inside the plant cell insoluble fibers absorb water and increase the fecal bulk it also speeds up the passage of food through the intestine it is recommended in the treatment of constipation soluble fiber dissolves in water and forms a gel it slows the passage of food through intestine and does not increase the fecal bulk it is recommended in the treatment of diarrhea examples of insoluble fibers are cellulose hemicellulose and lignin and the sources of insoluble fibers are wheat bran and whole grains fruits vegetables and beans example for soluble fibers are pectin pentosans gums and mucilage and the sources of soluble fibers are beans oat bran fruits and vegetables the recommended fiber intake for adults is 25 to 35 grams per day men require about 30 to 38 grams per day while women require about 21 to 25 grams per day children require about 19 to 25 grams per day pregnancy state requirement is about 28 grams per day and lactation requirement is about 29 grams per day fiber supplements are available in variety of forms and are generally consumed in cases of constipation maintaining blood sugar levels and cholesterol levels they are available as bran tablets purified cellulose powdered psyllium and laxatives as stool softeners so what is the importance of dietary fibers digestion dietary fiber helps in smooth functioning of the digestive tract dietary fibers promotes gastric mobility the fibers absorb water increases the fecal bulk and reduces the intestinal transit time thus aids in laxation soluble fiber forms a gel by retaining water and swells up in the stomach leading to filling or fullness fermentation of dietary fiber in large intestine leads to production of soft chain fatty acids like the butyrate and the propionate which inhibits the growth of pathogenic bacteria and enhances bioavailability of minerals in intestine dietary fiber promotes growth of healthy bacteria in the gut dietary fiber acts like prebiotics onto which the probiotics like bifidobacteria can feed and release short chain fatty acids which have an anti cancer and anti inflammatory effect and provides health benefit to the host effect of dietary fibers on obesity The effect of dietary fiber on obesity is by its ability to reduce energy absorption by the body. Fermentation of soluble fiber in large intestine causes release of glucagon like peptide and peptide YY which induces satiety that is a feeling of fullness. Another reason for reduced energy absorption is the decreased consumption of dietary fat. Another reason for effect of dietary fibers on obesity is increased rate of passage through the GI tract. and decrease absorption of nutrients finally dietary fibers increase bulk in gastrointestinal tract by water absorption and reduces food intake dietary fiber also reduces the body fat and systemic inflammation effect of dietary fiber on cardiovascular diseases fiber intake reduces risk of cardiovascular disease by lowering the body mass index systolic and diastolic blood pressure the serum ldl cholesterol and triglyceride values there are several mechanisms that are responsible for the beneficial effects of dietary fibers 
in reducing the incidence and mortality from the cardiovascular disease. Dietary fiber consumption leads to chelation of cholesterol in the lumen of small intestine, reducing the cholesterol and fatty acid absorption. Also, there is increased fecal excretion of bile salts, which reduces cholesterol synthesis by the liver and in turn decreases circulating plasma LDL levels. This results in reduced total serum cholesterol levels and reduced risk of cardiovascular disease. Consumption of dietary fibers leads to formation of gel in the stomach and small intestine, reducing the glucose absorption and insulin secretion, leading to lowering of blood pressure. Reduction in the level of inflammatory markers like C-reactive protein, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and interleukin-6 reduces systemic inflammation and in turn reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease. Effect on Cancer Dietary fiber act as a protective factor for large intestine and prevents colon cancer or colorectal adenoma. Dietary fiber intake increases stool bulk, reduces transit time in intestine, which reduces time for formation and action of carcinogens. Dietary fiber also resists digestion in the small intestine and gets fermented in large intestine to form short-chain fatty acids that arrest the growth of cancer cell and causes their apoptosis with increased healthy gut microbiota. There is dilution of fecal carcinogen that occurs as dietary fibers favor binding of bile acid to carcinogens. Dietary fiber also increases the level of antioxidants which reduces the risk of colon cancer. Diabetes and Dietary Factor Diabetes is characterized by decreased insulin sensitivity and hyperglycemia. Dietary fiber has a positive effect on diabetic individuals by its effect on fasting blood glucose, postprandial plasma glucose, and glycosylated hemoglobin. Soluble fiber attracts water and turns into a gel during digestion. It traps carbohydrates and slows down glucose absorption. Insoluble fiber increases the passage rate of food in the intestine and decreases the absorption of carbohydrates. Thus, dietary fiber can be crucial in management of diabetes. Dietary fiber intake has a protective and preventive role in recurrences of various diseases of the gastrointestinal tract. In gastroesophageal reflux disease and duodenal ulcers, Dietary fiber is responsible for low levels of gastric acid production. In case of irritable bowel disease, dietary fiber consumption reduces symptoms like abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, and constipation. In diverticulitis, dietary fiber consumption softens the stool, reduces the pressure on the colon, and reduces inflammation and pain. In constipation, dietary fiber softens the stool adds bulk to the stool and increases the gastric emptying. The anti-inflammatory effect of dietary fibers can be attributed to the release of anti-inflammatory cytokines like interleukin 10 and 18. It also promotes the growth of beneficial bacteria like lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. It leads to release of metabolites of gastrointestinal microbiome that is short-chain fatty acids like butyrate that reduces the pro-inflammatory cytokine levels. Increased fiber in diet aids in increased physical activity, adds to the nutritional value of the diet, increases the antioxidant effect, and improves the immune system. So to summarize, dietary fibers are soluble and insoluble. They are non-digestible carbohydrates and reduces the risk and lowers the incidence of numerous diseases. Functions of dietary fiber is in digestion, controlling obesity, controlling cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, cancers, and diseases of gastrointestinal tract. Dietary fibers are also found to have anti-inflammatory effect. You can find the link to MCQs for the topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and hit the notification bell for update on new videos. So see you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.